When placing your CPAP system in your bedroom, you want to make sure the area around the device is clear. The device draws in air, and if this air intake is blocked, the device may not operate correctly. For the same reason, we recommend you don't put the device on the floor. Thick carpeting and dust can affect the airflow into the device. Also, by placing the device on the floor, you limit the length of the hose, which may cause your mask to be pulled out of position while you sleep. Many CPAP devices have power adapters. These adapters look like small bricks and typically generate heat. To avoid overheating, we recommend you keep the power adapter out in the open and away from the device where it can properly ventilate. Having the power adapter too close to the device may cause false room temperature readings, which may affect the humidity level of your therapy. Some family pets are attracted to the heat and vibration that is generated by these devices. It's important to make sure your pets don't sleep on or around your device. This could limit the amount of air flowing through the device, potentially clogging the filter and ultimately affecting therapy. The hoses for these devices are fitted with a rubber coupling on each end. When removing a hose, be sure to handle it using the coupling. You should also avoid yanking directly on the tubing. If you have difficulty removing a hose, use your thumb to peel back the edge of the rubber coupling so the hose will slip off more easily. To remove a heated hose from the back of your device, rotate the coupling counterclockwise from the 6 o'clock position to the 3 o'clock position, and then pull the hose off the device. Even though they are made of strong material, you still need to avoid crimping the hoses. Don't allow the hose to get trapped between two objects that might pinch the hose, such as the mattress and headboard, or the drawer of a nightstand. Be sure to change the filter on your CPAP system every six months and the tubing every three months. If for some reason you feel your device is not operating correctly, please contact your home care provider for assistance.